Hello, everyone. This is Reggie again with another uh, analysis uh, of a stock. And today we are doing a technical analysis of ACB. Now, now a lot of you guys are on the weed stocks <laughs> and so the cannabis stocks. And uh, this is one of the most popular ones. Um, it's on my it's in my portfolio. I don't have a bunch of uh, cannabis stocks, um, but this is the primary one I focus on uh, for swing trading now, not investing, because uh, the, the, the balance sheet on this one isn't very good, and it's a Canadian-based company, um, and I don't know if Canadian, after all the dust settles with legislation and everything, if the Canadian stocks would be the best to go over an American uh, cannabis stocks. Uh, but as far as your money is concerned and my money, I'm going with ACB. Uh, number one, because the, the technical chart set up and also the, the volume, they're doing $32 million, million in trade volume, uh, which is massive. Um, and volume equals price action. Um, so here I have pulled up here on, uh, on tradingview.com. Uh, the chart, this is the daily chart for ACB. And um, this is just, I'm just telling you how I'm playing the stock. Uh, of course, you have to uh, take the information and use it towards your own personal trading strategy and trading goals. Um, but for me, I am, I trade for income. And so ACB is one of my plays. And as you see, I got, uh, this is a couple of my technical setups that I like. You know, I've got Snap, I got here. Uh, ACB, you know, Sundial Growers, uh, RQ, um, and, and NDM and Crocs. Um, but today, I'm right now, I'm going over ACB. So anyway, let me show you what I like about it. I like this setup. Uh, let's go ahead and draw some lines here. This is a bit of a flag pattern. I know, it got stuck. It got stuck on me. Let's try it again. Okay, so we got a little bit of flag pattern developing let's do a short term one start from here and let's go here so i use uh the macd and rsi indicators along with bollinger bands and you kind of look for patterns you kind of look for see that's a support line there uh, everybody would draw different support lines but we're all in the same ballpark um so now you see it's consolidating right so this is a daily chart so this is uh, November 30th, the 1st, the 2nd, and then today, December 3rd. Um, and it's 2 o'clock, so we're just about wrapping up the trading day, um, halfway through, I guess, uh, through the total trading day. And AC, like it, it, and so the, this yellow line here is your VWAP. Um, and it's trading above the VWAP, so it, it typically stays around VWAP. Um, and so it's consolidating, which usually means there's going to be a massive move to the downside or to the upside. Um, and these dots here is another indicator that I use, um, SAR indicator. Uh, and this shows the trend. So this, this helps identify the trend. And when these dots are on the top, that means it's a downtrend, right? So it started here and follow the downtrend, downtrend. And at some point, it's going to reverse to an uptrend. Um, and this is indicating to me from a technical analysis standpoint that it's it's on a way to a reversing to an uptrend uh, we're uh, applying high on the bollinger bands uh the, the top green line here on the top of the bollinger band is a moving average uh, i would feel better if it was actually starting to gap up but it's not it looks like it's, it's staying still uh, we're flying a little high uh, this 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 red line is a moving average the, the center line is a moving average too and I'm not going to get too technical with you guys because, you know, I, I, this is for, you know, you got guys out there that do a lot of technical analysis and you probably don't need my help. And this is for people who, who are, are not familiar with technical analysis. And I try not to get too nerdy on the information. I kind of keep try to keep it basic um, as possible so it's understandable. Um, so we like to see, like when it's here and it's close to this red line, that's a really good buying buying signal, especially if you look at the track record of a stock. Um, and actually, this doesn't apply to this one because this is kind of volatile. But if you got like a, a stock that, you know, like an Apple or something like that, uh, something that usually has strength to it, and you see it hitting this line, it's usually a good sign to buy. Uh, sometimes it'll go all the way down to this line um, with bad news or whatever. 
Um, and you can kind of look at the chart history to see what happens when it hits this line. But usually it bounces. Sometimes it'll go a little bit below, but it usually stay within this range. Uh, so anyway, I see a big move coming from ACB. Um, yesterday, which was Wednesday, we were supposed to hear news uh, about legislation about it. Uh, uh, having this, there's no decision yet. So hopefully we have a decision today or tomorrow. But it's, uh, you know, the numbers don't lie. The chart doesn't lie. And as you can see, it, it's, it's about to blow. Uh, and I'm thinking our next level will either be here at 1321 or here at 1447. Uh, it could possibly hit 1447 and bounce down to this line um, or it can blow straight through it. Let's look at the a longer timeline. So a next level. So hang on, let me let me mark these levels. Let me mark these levels. And so I'm going to show you these levels, then I'm going to show you how I'm personally playing it, with which, which strategy that I'm, I'm, I'm personally using. Um, and again, you don't ever want to follow somebody else's strategy because if there's a sign that this thing is taking a turn for the worse or some bad news come out and you're not paying attention uh, to news and information, uh, and I can't produce a video fast enough to warn you. So, <laughs> so you got to, you know, you, you don't rely totally on someone else's information, but this helps give you a, a guide. Um, you know, and it's fun to talk about, you know, it's, it's, you know, especially if you're trading, we don't really have coworkers, right? We work from home, we're kind of grinding and doing what we got to do. And it's nice having um, like my, being around like-minded people and, you know, our technology nowadays helps us achieve that through social media and, YouTube and all that good stuff. All right, so we got our lines. And right now we're looking. So here here, here are our, our, this is where it should go, right? So it's going to blow out. Uh, okay, hopefully it blows out, right? Let's, you know, nobody can determine the direction. You know, as I saying, no one has a right to determine, to tell a stock where to go. None of us has, none of us have that power. Um, so worst case scenario, it'll, it'll come down here, right? It'll, it'll blow it down to seven dollars if so, something bad happens, right? Uh, let's say you know the legislation doesn't pass or something crazy happens. I can see it going down to seven, uh, or worst case scenario coming down here to four, right? Good news is if with good news the way we want it to go, I'm thinking fourteen fifty around here range, uh, or even blowing past that and gapping. You know, look, your next line is up here at nineteen dollars. Um, my only concern is if it gaps up in our in this new trading environment where we have a lot of retail trailers, traders, um, and like back in the day, institutional traders, it'll gap up and they'll hold. But now with retail traders, it'll gap up and people will, will take profits. I mean, a lot of the institutional traders do the same too. Uh, but they'll take profits because I know a lot of us has been holding ACB for a while, right? Especially since, I know I've had it since um, Biden won the election. Actually, I got it before it because I had a feeling he was going to win anyway. Um, so I took, a, I speculated a bit, you know, which is not good to do, but I speculated, and, and so I said, "It can't, can't hurt," and, you know. It wasn't, and it wasn't that expensive of a stock. So I'm like, if I was wrong and, and Trump would have won, uh, yeah, I'm like, oh, the stock probably stay the same. But with Biden win, it definitely is is going to speak peak interest in buyers. So this is my technical analysis for ACB. Uh, ACB, I'm thinking, you know, we wanted to go is up up here to the stratosphere. But your, your next uh, level of resistance will be up here at 19. Your highest level of resistance will be here at 19. So if it just blows the doors out of it, that would be a good game for all of us. Uh, moderately, it'll hit probably hit this 1450 line. Um, or it could just keep consolidating. I got, you know, three ways it can go, up, down, or in the middle. Um, so that's my analysis for ACB. Uh, how I'm playing it is uh, back here at oh, it's around election time. So around the election, so back it was around six, six, five or six dollars. I bought it. Um, I purchased two hundred shares, and then purchased a bunch of call options, super, super cheap. Um, because it was, you know, so something like this you can gamble with. It, it's a cheap gamble. Um, it just makes sense because you know, um, marijuana legislation is going to pass at some point. Even if it doesn't, or, you know, I think the, the market's perception is Biden is, is pro cannabis. 
Um, and we're at a time where cities are hurting because of uh, COVID. Cities are hurting for money. Uh, and when they're hurting for money, they, they do bend a little bit on uh, on things they would normally call, consider taboo, right? Um, so cities are, are, are seeing that, you know, it, it's it's a, yeah, cities are businesses. So they they need money, they need to make money also. Um, you know, they make money off of taxpayers. A lot of their money are made from uh states governments are made from the, the federal government and grants and, and uh um construction and, and and you know and just this is more tax dollars the more successful people are in the state the more tax dollars will be produced um so they see a lot of opportunities and you know you have certain state and then you have test dummies right you'll have like places like seattle and stuff like that and, and that would you know they'll test it they'll, they'll look at their revenues from passing legislation and they're like oh well maybe we can do that too um so anyway not the ramble acb i'm going to do so right now the options uh i'm an options trader i, I do own equities in acb i've got 200 shares um because i want to sell options call against it eventually i don't want to do it now because it's not worth it like so here's the option screen uh for today and like let's say even the fourth which is tomorrow you know, it's not worth me making sixty dollars. So if I sell, like, uh, if I sell, let's say just a hundred shares. So let's say if I sell both, I got two hundred shares. And if you know how to do cover calls, right? So this would be one hundred twenty dollars for two hundred. You know, if I sold this against my two hundred shares, that's not worth it to me. To the gap up, the, the potential gap up, right? So if it gaps up to like fourteen dollars, I would have to sell my shares for eleven bucks. And I only make 120 bucks. That's not worth it for me. So I'm not selling any covered calls on it yet. Um, I do have debit spreads uh, on the stock. Um, I didn't do a call spread um, because I don't want to tie up my margin money um, because I don't know when this is going to move. I, I feel it's going to move today or tomorrow now at this point, but I, I don't know when it's going to move and I don't want to risk that. And it's so such little. I mean, look at this. Uh, if you do a debit spread, let's say you do. This is if you do, should do a short term debit spread, uh, sixty one dollars, and you sell, you go up a dollar, so you're risking twenty nine dollars to make a hundred bucks, right? So that's worth the risk, right? And if you buy, you know, buy a few of those, you know, you buy ten of those, you know, that's that's worth the risk. Um, and I would do a debit spread because of the theta. Now, feel free to leave comments in the comment section if you don't know some of the terminologies I'm using. Um, I'll be happy to explain it, or there are plenty of explainer videos on how to trade options and options Greeks and all that good stuff. Uh, see, the theta is really high. So they, they changed the game up. You know, when I first bought my my options, it, it wasn't like this. So I got I've got single options on this, and I got some some debit some debit spreads. But that was from earlier on, and so the, the newer stuff when it, the options started, the, the price started moving. We started getting price action. I started buying debit spreads. So the theta is twenty two, which means it's going to lose twenty two dollars a day if the stock doesn't move. And you have the fifty four delta. So this is great if it was moving like a dollar to a day. This this theta would be nothing because we're making fifty four dollars. Um, but you have very high volatility. You see that? Uh, typically, you want to see your volatility like under fifty, under thirty, something like that. So it's very high volatility, which is good for money making and options, especially selling options. Um, but with that type of theta, debit spreads is best because you beat theta by selling one. So let's see what this, this theta is. So if you do a, a, a $1 debit spread, I was 22 this is 19 so you lose, you're only using three bucks a day now you see how that makes sense you see how you beat theta with a debit spread so now you're losing three dollars a day compared to 22 but your risk is defined so if it does gap up uh you don't collect all that cash but you do collect uh you're camped out right so if you do a debit spread i'm trying to get back Uh, a $1 debit spread equals a dollar a share, which equals 100 bucks, right? If you take it all the way to expiration. 
So that's a hundred dollars. So you're risking twenty nine dollars to make a hundred dollars uh, per contract if you do a short term. Uh, if you go a little longer term, because this this depends on your strategy and depends on, on your money, you know. Um, so look at this. So if you go longer, let's say you go out to next Friday, that's it's almost the same, you know. Thirty three bucks. So you know one thirty. See you buy ax, you sell bid. Oops, sell bid, ninety seven dollars. Um, yeah, you can't beat that. You know, it's it's a good deal, and you almost feel like the stock will go up. But you know, it's up to your own strategy, your own trading style. Um, but this is this is just me sharing what I'm doing. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I try to do my best to uh inform uh don't make this video too long so i try to I, I might be saying some things that you don't understand so feel free to leave a message in the comment section and i will be glad to respond and hey i don't even mind giving you a link to someone else's page i may explain like options greek or something like that um hey i learned on youtube so you know we all teach each other you know it's the old saying none of us is better than all of us um so that's my play on acb this is reggie and feel free to comment and don't forget to like and subscribe helps keep the channel going uh helps youtube know that this is useful information and i'll uh, give you some motivation to keep sharing my information and uh, just share my experiences this is reggie see you later